back with another video and I am taking inspiration today from the Vicki Booten's group. Um, there was a challenge to do stenciling but make it look like pattern paper essentially. And I think it was Natalie uh, from her design team that posted a layout that I was inspired by. So what I have done, I've traced with a pencil, I don't think you can see it, but I've traced kind of like a section out that I'm gonna treat as if I'm making my own pattern paper. And I'm gonna go ahead and block this off with some tape. Let's go ahead, make sure it's straight, because you know I don't do anything straight very well. And I'm just using uh, painter's tape, and but I'm putting it onto my um, pants first to get off a little bit of the stickiness because it does sometimes stick to the paper, I find. So I'm just putting it, take off some sticky, and then I'm gonna block this off. Like there, I just ripped the paper. Oh well, I'm not gonna worry about it. So, I'm gonna use this, I know it's, there's a technical name for this leaf, but it's like the palm leaf or whatever and lay it on here. And I'm using, um, I'm out of pixie spray. So I'm using these pixie dots and I've just got a dot on each corner of the stencil so that it won't move. I will link these below. Um, I will link all of the products um, that are available below at my little scrapbook store uh, in case you're interested. I'm gonna be using the Where To Next collection and these are the inks I'm going to be using. Peacock Feathers, Evergreen Bow, and Peeled Paint. So, let's get started. Um, and I'm just going to do like a variegated, you know, nothing, nothing too controlled here. Uh, this is going to be, that's Peeled Paint. This is Evergreen Bow. Hoping I'm gonna be able to kind of line this up in a way to make this look seamless like pattern paper, but a lot of this is gonna be covered by my photos. So it's really only gonna be poking out. So I'm not gonna to be too, too concerned. Oh, so far I'm liking it. I never thought I would like peeled paint because it's kind of like a baby poop color, <laughs> but I really have come to really like it. <clears throat> Let's see. Get some of our evergreen bow. Okay, we're gonna finish up blending um, the other sections of this stencil. If you missed it before, I am using um, Peeled Paint, Evergreen Bow, and Peacock Feathers for the colors, and the colors worked out perfectly uh, with the colors in this collection. So stay tuned for the finished stenciling project, and then we'll proceed with the rest of the layout. All right, guys, I finished my stitching. Just give you a close up. Just stitched around that. So now that's going to act like as if it were a piece of pattern paper, right? Now, fair warning, I ripped my paper so many places because of the um, painter's tape. So I thought I was taking off enough of the sticky, but clearly I was not. Um, so that's a bit frustrating, but that's all right. We'll deal with it. Um, I want to grab real quick a piece of black cardstock because I am going to back my photos with a very thin layer of black cardstock. 
Okay, and this is gonna be the only additional piece of pattern paper that I use. And it's one of the strips from one of the papers. I'm going to use that to ground my, kind of be the ledge for my photos to sit on. And there are my two photos. Um, these are photos from a Hawaii trip that uh, my husband and I took this year, well, in 2023. And <clears throat> I thought the colors were perfect. And it is sad, right? I covered up a lot of that stenciling, but that's just the way it goes. When you do mixed media, it does get covered up. Nonetheless, I had so much fun doing it and I love the way it turned out. Just absolutely loved it. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to back those photos with a thin uh, border of black cardstock. And if I remember right, I don't have the photo in front of me. I think I leave it as like one block. So I have those two photos butted up next to each other just like they are now and just give a nice black border around there. And that really makes the photos pop. Um, and it really is gonna tie in with the title because the title is also um, <clears throat> black it's going to be black chipboard from one of the big chip chipboard words words tisa words <laughs> from the collection i think i'm going to use my we are memory keepers um layering guides for this i don't always um use these usually i'm super lazy and i just hand cut around my photos but for whatever reason, I wanted a very even um, border on this one. And so I did use those guides. I love the guides and honestly, they work amazing. Look at how perfect the, the line is around there. I, I am so sorry guys, I got a phone call and it interrupted my recording. So basically what I was saying is I love the nice, thin, even border on this. I really should use those um, layering rulers more. <laughs> um, so that's where my photos are gonna sit. And you can see how that nice thin layer just it looks so clean and it really does make the photos pop on the layout. My embellishing <clears throat> on this one is going to be so simple. And I really love it because it really makes that stenciling kind of come to life and shine um, because what I do is the same leafy pattern on the stencils that's going to be the only embellishment that I'm going to bring in so we're going to do two clusters of embellishing and um, with those leaves and of course I'm having a hard time getting that straight because most things I put down are not straight I don't know what my problem is but I have a tilt in my brain or something because most things come out a little tiny bit crooked but there is that big title vacay and i love how that just ties in with the black border love it so much that's the title and then here we go with all of the little frond leaves or whatever they're called um, i cut these out of the pattern paper in the collection and this is the exact paper that I got the color inspiration from for the stenciling. So it really ties in nicely. Um, I also probably used the uh, specialty sheet which is a vellum with the same leaf and I love the, the added texture that that is going to give as well. <clears throat> so I am going to um, tuck these in and then pretty much that is going to be the main main uh, embellishment of the layout so I'm going to let you watch that uh, for a bit I will have some close-ups uh, at the end of the video and check out the links below for my little scrapbook store we have an awesome Facebook group with lots of inspiration live videos tutorials so many fun things going on over there, um, live sales, and I will leave links to anything that is available 
uh, in the shop. Oh, those little tickets. I don't think those end up on my layout. I can't remember because like I said, I don't have it in front of me, but I made those little tickets out of, uh, with one of the Heidi Swap um, Stamp Society uh stamps i am subscribed to her stamps every month and they're amazing um and i made those tickets but i kind of have a feeling that doesn't make it on but maybe it does but that's where that ticket is from it is not from the collection um anyway uh yeah also if you are a new customer to my little scrapbook store feel free to use my code it is t-i-s-a-r-e-f and that will give you 10% off your entire order, your first order. And I'll leave all of that information in the description box below with all of the links and any of the available products that I have used in this layout. I appreciate y'all watching and um, leave any questions or comments below and have a great night, guys. Bye.